On today's show of Wake Up Tahoe, I got good friend Sean Rogers in the studio of Inspire Balloons. How's it going today? It's going fantastic. Boy. Check this baby out. Sean's <laughs> going to be building some balloon creations on the show as well as talking about flair bartending. Kind of go hand in hand. Yeah, old past life of mine. Had a lot of fun. Still do it privately for events and stuff. So I do a lot of things privately. Too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Plus, a big weekend in Lake Tahoe, including wagon training, renaissance fair, and concerts galore. Keep it here. Wake Up Tahoe starts now. Coming to you from the 12th floor of the Mont Blue Resort Casino and Spa on the beautiful south shore of Lake Tahoe, this is Wake Up Tahoe with Drew Murin. Wake Up Tahoe is filmed in front of a live studio audience. Good morning and welcome back to Wake Up Tahoe with Drew Murin. The weather is absolutely incredible going into another great weekend here in Lake Tahoe. And boy, it is an event packed weekend. We're going to talk about it all in the show today. But first of all, the weather 75 degrees today and getting hotter going on into the weekend. Light winds, perfect beach weather. Summer is officially here. Thank you, Sean Rogers, my co-host today. <laughs> Inspired Balloons is the name of the business. Flair bartending, the business by night. I'll uh, tell you what, buddy. Trying to get all the bases covered, you know. Full-on circus act all wrapped up in one fun event, full day. No kidding. A little do 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 You got it all know? Now, if you haven't noticed this giant Sean Rogers one <laughs> above my head right here, pump this out minutes before the show started. <laughs> Just yeah, threw only, a few things together. Only about five and a half hours. Yeah. You too can have one of these in your house. <laughs> and fly it around, let your kids sit in it, and you can have as much fun as you want. Now, you know, everybody growing up, you know, we, we had a, a school teacher on the show yesterday. And so she's I'm like, you know, what do the kids want to be these days? You know, they want to be doctors, lawyers. Balloon artist was like number three. I mean, it was. It is the fastest growing form of performing arts in the world today. So it's pretty interesting to see the, the realm of the real deal side of balloon art getting away from the clown and actually being artistic with it and seeing how big you can be creative and see how big and uh stuff you can get with it <laughs> well we're gonna show some pictures of um creativity i guess you call the the balloon bikinis uh, i guess yeah. yeah we'll call it creativity sean also does <laughs> well, outerwear we're, we're, it's Pool wear. something we're getting ready to start it's a, it's in a trial phase <laughs> we're gonna, you're gonna see some shots of that coming up but first of all that's absolutely incredible now you've been doing balloons for what now uh, a little over two and a half years yeah. <laughs> And that's something you've always wanted to do? Or how'd you get into this whole business? A uh, buddy of mine actually told me he was a bar regular at somewhere I was flair bartending and said it was a great second job and I could do it as just to make a little extra cash on the side and figured it was just like being in front of people anywhere else. So started doing it and just had like a knack of seeing stuff for what it was and it all kind of came together. Well, you know, we've all seen blue and animals done before, like by the clowns, you know, they make you like a little chipmunk or, yeah. you know, a, a worm or something. And then there's Sean, the balloon artist that <laughs> builds full size scale C-130s or whatever. Um, Wednesday night, Sub Series Stand Up Paddling made its way into the da Tahoe Daily Tribune today with all the results here. Season three kickoff. That was Wednesday night. We were there. Stand-up paddling's taken over the world. It's it's an interesting sport, I have to say. It's incredible, and I'm, I'm expecting to see a, a maybe a balloon stand-up paddleboard here in the future. I think I think one's getting ready to come up in a, an event we're getting ready to do. June 29th, we'll tell you Sean's going to be there. But the <laughs> uh, the Wednesday night sup results are in, and congratulations to Jeff. Erickson and Joshua Brackett for taking first overall. And uh, a special, uh, it's kind of a condolence, I guess you would call it, or a, a runner-up, I don't know, uh, Megan Burke of Getaway Reno Tahoe comes in second to last with a DNF. Next week, Megan, next week. <laughs> but a great article in there. Check that out. South Tahoe Stand Up Paddle just pumping out the boards this season. I'll tell you what, everybody's going to be on the water this weekend as uh, the water temperature is right around 62 degrees right now, Sean. Nice. It's uh, almost wakeboard season. Can't wait. Now, you're a big lake guy. Uh, every once in a while when I can make it down there. When you're not working? When I'm not twisting balloons. <laughs> <laughs> if you can catch Sean tonight at the Heavenly Village. Tonight, Jesse Kalen and Cool Black Kettle are going to take the stage of the Heavenly Village concert series right 
right underneath the Heavenly Gondola. They'll start around 5 o'clock, so we're really excited to have them. But floor, bed, floor bartending, floor, 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 flare, 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 flare bartending, balloon making, all kind of goes hand in hand. Yeah, it's, uh, used to professionally stunt ride motorcycles for a little while, too, so I don't know. We've kind of covered all the bases, and I like things that uh, kind of are difficult, as, as difficult as you can get to do, and, uh, and we'll see if I can learn how to manipulate the system. What does mom think about all this? Uh, I don't know. I uh, I lost her a few years ago, but uh, I hope she's super proud and I looking bet. down and, and seeing some crazy stuff happening. So oh, man, <laughs> I mean, that's a, she's got to be like, wow, check that out. Yeah, no, my, my family's pretty in all that. Uh, I used to own a landscape company, so to mm-hmm. see me come from landscaping and owning a business for seven years to now being a balloon artist, it's uh, it's kind of blown my family's yeah. mind. So yeah. kind of interesting fathom, and I never thought in my life I'd be doing this. <laughs> well, tell me, you were telling me at the break there, the top balloon artist in the world, which is probably just a bit above you right now. Uh, he's a little bit above me. He has a crew that works for him, but his booking rate is uh, anywhere right in the range of $2,500 an hour. He builds life size or uh, completely functional 10-room haunted houses for the Gaylord Palms and, and does some really cool stuff. It's, uh, it's becoming a huge art form in the world, and, and we're seeing, excited to see where it goes in the next few years. What's something like this sell for? Uh... Custom work like that, usually design and everything, it's about $50 an hour, so plus materials. So to get, and I can go as big as you want. It's what you can dream, I can build. Inspiredballoons.com. <laughs> That's what you got to do. What's the most craziest thing anybody's ever had you build? Uh, I did a life-size saucer boy for Sherry McConkie um, for the Payne Mashonky Classic two years ago. And uh, it was it was really cool. It was actually my first sculpture ever, and uh, turned out really good. Got a lot of publicity, and that's kind of where it all took off. So, building a famous Shane McConkie. Well, I'm gonna have you build a. That's that's huge. Yeah, it was definitely a lot of fun. That's huge. So, so you, you, you do a bunch. You did boarding for breast cancer. Did boarding for breast cancer. We do. Um, I've done all kinds of events. I just did a column with the 49ers helmet for the San Francisco 49ers event a few weeks ago. Um, So all kinds of cool projects people are hiring me for these days. Well, we're going to have Sean. We're going to put him under a time limit here coming up in the show, so keep it here. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to go out right now and take a look at the America's Most Beautiful Bike Ride. They're all going to be turning left here on Sunday in Lake Tahoe, so you're going to see a lot of Lycra. Sweet. Yeah. Sounds like a lot of Lycra. fun. Lycra. Lycra butts. <laughs> Lycra. <laughs> Just be careful. <laughs> <laughs> a quick break. We'll be back with Wake Up Tahoe right after this. Welcome to Fabulous Lake Tahoe, your local's guide to the very best of America's year-round playground. I'm Jack Durst. And I'm deciding to take a day in Lake Tahoe to just go out and enjoy the sunshine and find what I can find. Any random Sunday in Lake Tahoe, you're going to find a bunch of great events. And today, since there's a couple of different events on, I've decided that I am going to just go out and find what I can find today. Well, here we are at the finish line of America's Most Beautiful Bike Ride. I saw remarkably few bicyclists while I was out on the lake today, but I was mostly out doing a random vlog just for the sake of having some footage that was unstructured, having some unstructured time to film. And I actually got very, very few bicycles while I was out in the middle of the event. So I have come down here to the finish line to watch some of the bicyclists come in at the end of America's Most Beautiful Bike Ride. Been a great bicycle ride out today. I can tell everybody's been having a whole lot of fun here. I'm waiting here at the thing because the Peloton's just about to approach. And it's been like that all morning. There's been Peloton after Peloton of bicyclists coming through this end of State Line and almost nothing down by the lakeshore in the state line. Subscribe to Fabulous Lake Tahoe if you haven't already. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thank you, and keep Tahoe blue. Bye. And we are back. America's most beautiful bike ride. I'm gonna have Sean build me a bike, and I'm gonna ride it around the lake. Can you do that? Uh, I'm not a clown, but I, I've got some bicycles in my yeah, repertoire every once in a while. Just so you know, Sean's famous. <laughs> uh, just famous. Only on some days. Can I get an autograph real quick? Uh, hey, special yeah, shout out. Amanda Llewellyn just tweeted in <laughs> just now saying two of my favorite people. Love you guys. Thank you, Amanda. We love you too. And also another tweet just came in. Shayla Haskell. 
Sweet. Yeah, Shayla's a good friend of mine from West Shore Cafe. She's been around watching balloons get happen for a long time now. Shayla's like, yeah. Good job, Sean. You rock. You're famous. You're so, famous. Just a little bit. You're famous. <laughs> <laughs> That's your signature? <laughs> yeah, it's like kind of right. like a doctor. I'm going to save this. It's, it's gonna, a little upside down. I'm going to frame this. Uh, no. <laughs> America's most beautiful bike ride will be taking place Sunday. You can catch Drew with you, taking his balloon bicycle. It's all lefts. NASCAR's rights, or is NASCAR lefts, and this is rights. Counterclockwise. Whatever way counterclockwise is, is. around the lake. There's going to be a lot of spandex and latex. I don't know latex so much, but maybe just going around the lake this Sunday. So, Curtis Fong, the man from Tahoe. You ever see him? I have not. The best mullet in Tahoe. I mean, The it, best he, mullet in he's Tahoe? He's got the best mullet in Tahoe. He puts this event together. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Hey, a little special, Fire and Ice, you know it, right by the KTHO radio studios. I'll mention this ad in the paper. That would be the Tahoe Daily Tribune. Receive 50% off the price of the second adult lunch or dinner all through June. Doesn't hurt to tell him you heard it here on Wake Up Tower with Drew, too, either. Just say that, right, John? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, flair bartending. Yeah, it's an uh, old hobby of mine. You learn it from watching Cocktail, Tom uh, Cruise? Actually, that was kind of a big inspiration. Yeah? But I have met some guys in D.C. that had a uh, competition squad, traveled around, and kind of got in with those guys, and then ended up going to Orlando, Florida for a while, so... It was a it was a nice little change of pace for a while. Orlando, Florida, that would be kind of like the hot spot for flair bartending, I it, guess. It was definitely yeah. a huge hot spot. Florida altogether is a hot spot anyway, but uh, and that's why I live in Tahoe now. But <laughs> the uh, the bartending scene is way different down there, and definitely got a lot of talent and potential uh, to make money and have some fun with juggling and. And getting created behind a bar. Well, what's cool about Sean is why he's making balloon animals. You'll see him flare bartending at the same time. It's like you have nine arms, dude. Yeah, I, don't know, I don't know how you do it. <laughs> and we're going to see fly, uh, share flare bartend coming up. But first of all, dump day, $5. Take a truck full of stuff over to South Tahoe Refuge, just 5 bucks. Thank you to Clean Tahoe. Those people keeping Tahoe clean for many, many years there. Thank you to them. That's all throughout the weekend. The Renaissance Fair is also in town, so get dressed up. That would be cool, like a Renaissance balloon costume. I need to work on something like that. There is a, There was one in a catalog just recently that a guy did a full suit of armor for a gentleman. That was pretty wild. Definitely an interesting scene. Can you have it done by tomorrow? Uh, maybe. I got about 12 <laughs> hours to... <laughs> we'll see. You might catch me in a balloon costume. Yeah. That would be kind of fun. Uh, balloon bikinis that are coming up in the show. Don't go away for that. And also, I just want to highlight a Tahoe Rim Trail Association volunteer trail building at Van Sickle by State Park. Info at TahoeRimTrail.org. They're trying to... Now's the time of year they kind of recondition all the trails and whatnot. So. I, you know, I've been mountain biking a lot on the rim trail all over the place, and it's it, the best I've ever seen it. So it's been a lot of stuff's been maintained that wasn't kept up last year, and so definitely a good thing going on over there. Right on, Sean. I didn't know you're a mountain biker. Every day. Good for you. What's your favorite <laughs> spot to mountain bike? Uh, I just do uh, up in the Nordic Center and stuff on the North Lake up in Tyler City. Cool. So just a bunch of different places. Starting to get into the downhill scene, but I don't know if I want to take all the pads and stuff like that. I kind of like the cross country, mellow trek out there. I don't know. Downhill seems a lot easier. Uh, we just got <laughs> another tweet in from, uh, I want to say Brandy, saying, where can I find Sean next? Uh, I will be... Jeez! <laughs> sign my paper again. Sign, give me a second to over there. Uh, I'm charging. It's $5 a piece for these. Okay, okay. <laughs> hey, give, me, give me two for ten. Oh, here we One go. One for five, two for ten. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Uh, so where are you going to be next? Um, I got a bunch of stuff going on. The uh, Commons Beach, I'm doing a uh, bike derby for the Rideout Community Center for Tahoe PUD. Um, also doing a fundraiser charity event to raise money for the fireworks in Tahoe City at the brewery on Sunday. Um, Tahoe Tahoe Mountain Brewery, I believe. And uh, I'm full-time at Sunnyside, 11 to 4, Thursday through Sundays. Uh, you can catch me on the deck hanging out making balloons for all the kids at Sunnyside. What would you say is the most popular kid balloon? Uh, I mean, do they want, like... My princess crown's pretty famous. Mm -hmm. They're the gentleman who taught me how to make balloons, he uh, he never taught anybody else. So the, the princess crown's pretty much money. So it's it's where it's at. And you can catch me wearing a princess crown almost every time Sean and I Pink get Pink and purple's the, the winner for They're it. They're my colors. Yeah, you know, you what know? can I do? Can <laughs> Why say? do you think I made the plane this way? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're going to put Sean up to the contest coming up. He's going to have one minute to build a specially designed, one-of-a-kind, famous balloon animal. 
Yeah, we'll see what we can happen. Make and a little flare, and a little flare bartending. Yeah. Coming out. <laughs> we'll try. Drinking and balloons go together like peas and carrots on the show. Hey, we're gonna take another quick break. We're gonna take a look now at what is it here? We're going to the wagon train. Yes, we are. We're gonna go out wagon training right now and uh, take a look at that's coming through town this weekend. Gonna start in Zephyr Cove, go all the way through town. Take a look. Here they come through town. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Those wagon trains. The, the wagon trains. What exactly is the wagon train? It's a covered wagon with horses. Oh, nice. Adria plans on riding a pony. Sweet. We'll see if she can come through with that. <laughs> Sounds amazing. <laughs> That's going to be a lot of fun, though. They go from Zephyr Cove all the way to Placerville. Awesome. We got it. That sounds like a long ride. Could you imagine having kids in the back seat? Yeah, in a wagon train. I mean, the, uh, the drive from here to Placerville is like an hour, and you, you have those uh, little TVs going. Could you imagine doing that a wagon train like all day long? The kids, I'm hungry. I gotta go to the bathroom. Uh, he's looking out my my side of the wagon. I mean, it was just like a big old complaint. I, I don't. I feel for him. Anyway, uh, Flair bartending though, taking off for you. You're, you're not really doing much with it. You say? Just, uh, kinda... I'm just kind of practicing, hanging out these days, keeping up on the skill. It's uh, kind of the balloons take up most of my time so being behind a bar is uh not conducive for a balloon lifestyle these days but uh I, I still have a lot of fun do private events and guest bartend some places every once in a while now i know Bob blue is trying to get their hands on you they're uh, like they see they saw sean and they're like ah, we need this guy I, I would love to go down there it's definitely kind of my scene but uh the five o'clock in the morning six o'clock in the morning days are a little over for me these days so yeah, yeah. but uh definitely definitely a fun scene and was a fun life in the old days old guy like you <laughs> uh, any competitions you uh, still do the competitive scene? I, I've been invited to a few competitions here and there. It's, the scene's not too big in Tahoe, which I'm disappointed to see in such a touristy place coming from Orlando that the, the flair bartending scene's not bigger and, mm. and more uh, present out here. So something I'd like to see in the future, and I'm definitely trying to work on a little bit. So I'm going to ask you what every guy out there is dying to know. Um, 
Flair bartenders, you guys got to get a lot of chicks. Uh, if, if, you're, if, if you're in the right scene, yeah, it's definitely, it definitely helps a little bit to Guaranteed. add some skill behind the bar. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Besides just uh, pouring drinks. I just signed up for a class. <laughs> Sweet. The we... Sean Rogers <laughs> Flair bartending class. Yeah, that school will be coming out next uh, next fall That's for sure. That's a good idea. Maybe I can be the assistant. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Sure. I'll be like the, yeah, I'll, I'll do the We'll suggestions. definitely make sure you have pla- practice bottles, though, so uh, we don't end up with class all over the place. Yeah, that's a good idea. Getting all weird, so. So, Sean, we made a little agreement here. Um, we're going to give Sean one minute. We're going to put one minute on the clock, and we're going to give you one minute to break out the African Falerama monkey. The African... In balloons. In the African... F- in, in balloons. Flaremont monkey, yes. Now, the Flaremont monkey is a, a very a, a genetically modified organism in Africa. So, yeah, it's, it's very rare. Only probably been seen by a handful of people, but we're going to give you one minute to build it. One minute right, to build it. All right, let's grab the balloon you bag. You get your balloon bag, so yeah. See what's going That's on That's a here. lot of balloons. This is a... Uh, it's definitely... Made sure I was yeah, locked prepared. and loaded today. Got in some case scissors we, uh, in there and some balloons. Oh. How's, are you going to sit down? Or are you gonna, uh, it's kind of okay. hard to twist balloons sitting down. Well, we'll, we'll give it a try. The, that's part of the contest. That's part of the contest. Part of the contest here. Okay, Shashan's got one so, minute. Here he goes. The African Flermon monkey coming up right now. Simple little twist there. While Sean's doing his one minute, Adriel will be on the show coming up. That's going to be an interesting segment. We're going to talk about that coming up. Um, also, Heavenly Mountain Resort starting off their summer. They're putting a lot of money in, over $25 million in summer construction projects, putting in a zip line, a canopy tour, and two ropes courses coming into Heavenly Mountain Resort right here in the heart of South Lake Tahoe. So super excited about that. The African flare monkeys are always fuchsia or pink. Very susceptible to predation <laughs> because they can't hide from anything. So uh, we're down to, uh, what, 30 seconds? 30 seconds. Okay, so uh, he got the got the body. He's got 30 <laughs> seconds. Coming down to 25 seconds. Don't forget Jesse Kalen and Cool Black Kettle on stage tonight in the Heavenly Village. That'll be the Heavenly Village Concert Series. Second week of nine weeks happening there. So we're really excited leading into the finale, which will be Celebrity Golf Weekend. Two huge, big acts with the lead singer from Warrant going to be taking the stage. Sean Rogers, Inspired Balloons. Now you're down to 10 seconds, Sean. All right, here we go. up on the monkey. Now you're getting a sword. <laughs> <laughs> An African Flaremont sword. That's uh, all. African right. Flaremont sword. Yeah, that, yeah, just as good as a monkey. We got one more for you coming up. All right. Let's see if we can do this in 10 seconds. 10 seconds. <laughs> You know, swords have got to be popular with little kids. Swords are definitely a winner. They're, uh, creates a lot of fun and excitement, too. Kids like playing swords. I don't know what it is, you know? What about kids and swords? But you, too, can have one of these amazing airplanes made for any time. Festivities. Kids, I bet you this makes a great gift. Well, uh, throwing balloons is really cool. I'm trying to get more into that with the, uh... Doing balloon bouquets and delivering stuff, hospitals, get well stuff. Uh-huh. Uh, got a lot of cool projects like that coming up. And look forward to the next pool party at Mont Blue in July. You might see some of Sean Rogers balloon bikinis taking center stage in. <laughs> Here, I got something for you, Drew. Oh, it's We're like a flare mount monkey, but it's kind of. Look it right on your I'm going to call him Pete. <laughs> I got Pete. So you are official pirate now. Yar! <laughs> All right, take a look at some of these blue bikinis as we go out to break. We're going to take a look at Jack Durst at Fabulous Tahoe's concert report, and then we'll be back with Adra for her daily update. Sean, Inspire Balloons, Flare Bartenders, thank you, sir. And thank you. Catch him online and catch him tonight at the Heavenly Village. We'll take a break. We'll be back. Adra will have her update. May 29th through June 2nd, Bob Zaney and Zan Afterheider will be having a Zaney versus Zan comedy show at the Improv at Harvey's Comedy. May 31st, Gretchen Wilson will be playing at the Mont Blue. Dab City will be playing somewhere in South Lake Tahoe. They haven't announced exactly where yet. Castle, Hate FX, and Serpent and Seraph will be playing at Whiskey Dicks May 31st. And Reggae Legends, the, Ra- the Wailing Souls, and Pur- Pure Roots will be playing with an after party by Massive Delicious at the Crystal Bay Club May 31st. And because July 1st and 2nd is such a big weekend in Tahoe, I'm going to report, I'm going to foreshadow a little of what's coming here. July 1st, Big Bad Voodoo Daddy will be playing at Harris. 
July 1st is also the Wagon Train Rendezvous at Zephyr Cove Resort. I'm going to try and get out to the actual rendezvous at Zephyr Cove Resort the night before so that the parade actually has some meaning in my thing this year. And then July 2nd is the Wagon Train Parade and America's Most Beautiful Bike Ride on the same day. You can click the annotation to see my video of last year's America's Most Beautiful Bike Ride and Wagon Train Parade. I've made a tradition of doing it every year and I have no intention of not doing it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you, and keep Tahoe blue. Bye. Welcome back to the show. Adra joins us now on set. And Adra, what do you have for us today? The boys are going to Rochambeau for a spray tan. Go. Drew wins. <laughs> <laughs> Adra okay. is going to be spray tanning both of us on the show. Coming up, don't go away. As we... What? I thought it was just you, but you too. Congratulations, you uh, won. A uh, special winner today. Lucky Spring winner. dance for all on the show. <laughs> <Wake> up, <Tahoe. laughs> Here we go. Welcome back to the show. Adria on set now and Drew without a shirt on. Thanks for having me. It was a fun day to come in. First of all, I want to apologize for everybody Very for having me. I get to see it all the time. It's still early in summertime. Ah, you still got the winter coat on. Adria, body by Adria. Yeah. That's the name of the business? Kind of how it's Spray starting. tamming. Tamming. Tanning. Um, do it for all Drew's events. Pete and I are about to ready to get a spray tan in this little fandango thing behind me. So first of all, spray tanning, tell me about it. What do I need to know? Uh, you need to be clean, usually shaven, and uh, you need to just be ready to get a nice tan and a golden glow, and most people enjoy getting this. I got stand-up paddle people out today getting photo shoots, all kinds of stuff going on. So I do special events. Um, I also do Tahoe's on, I mean the uh, Tahoe show. Mm -hmm. Get those people going for their body That's building. when Sean and I really start working out. Wedding season, so all the way from a natural glow to Sean something a little amazing. bit more extreme. <laughs> I do pirates. Every time I, I do pirates, yes. Yeah. Good thing she does pirates. Sometimes yeah. I play a pirate in roller skates and I do myself extra dark. So as a pirate, should I be worried about my sword? I always be worried about yourself too. <laughs> First question though, Andrew, how long do spray tans last? Five to seven days. And? On average, but in Tahoe, a little bit less because we are so dry, we lose our skin a little bit. And there's different shades of there gray. There are? Different shades Not of gray. gray. Not of gray, no. <laughs> I give nice natural looking golden glow tans, um, customized for each individual and their amount of time that they have to get their tan done for an event. Well, today I'm giving Adra a lot of canvas to work with here. I'm gonna hand my sword over here, and Pete and I are gonna go get a spray tan because Pete's feeling a little orange. He is a little orange today. Right, let's, let's browns him up. Okay. All right, body painter is the name of the business. All I gotta do is step into this little tent. I have the best job in the world. Okay, you ready? Okay, go. Even Pete? Pete got a little color today, too. Pete's got a little color, too. Sean Rogers will be getting his spray tan on next. <laughs> we'll see how he turns out. Yep. <laughs> I really love my job. <laughs> nice. Well, let's see what you can do here. I wonder if you could make a balloon. Well, I'm going to spray tan.
make it so goddamn pretty she move away with a style in a date in the move that she makes and I must see her face I'm seeing in a magazine I will, I will say that girl's my only I-N-T-I-E, baby that girl's my only I-N-T-I-E, baby Thanks to Adria for uh, giving me my golden glow. You know, you look amazing. His teeth are so white. <laughs> Gretchen Wilson tonight. That's why I'm getting she, the abs on. Mm -hmm. She's, She's going to be here. For him. She's Mom. like, I like a man with spray tan and abs. I didn't like it. <laughs> Eight o'clock tonight. This tall looks like it. In the Mont Blue showroom. We'll see you there. Because I'm a redneck parrot. Right? <laughs> <laughs> see you guys Monday. <laughs>